Hey, Robert LeBlanc here from FatFit101.com. How are you doing? Well, I need to give you a little bit of an update here. Um, I haven't been real steady with my blog uh, and for a couple different reasons. Uh, you'll notice a post I did, I think it was back on June 25th or 26th, where I got a phone call from my good friend Scott Sanchez out of uh, Maui, Hawaii. He's a, he's a trainer. He, he's an Olympic trainer. He's been through seven Olympic cycles, and he trains the, those guys on... Um, Oh, those those extreme surfers and windsurfers out on Maui you see on Wide World of Sports. Anyway, um, he called me up. He said, hey, Robbie, he goes, Dr. Phil is looking for a couple big guys from Las Vegas who have been beat by the buffets. And he's and I was like, oh, geez. And he says, you know what? You ought to check, check it out. Check it out. And so I said, I don't know. Do I really want to do that? Well, that was on Wednesday. Thursday, I looked, uh, went to Dr. Phil's website and looked over the, the application. Friday, I applied uh, for, for the show, not thinking anything. Saturday, that following Saturday, two days later, I get a phone call from one of the producers from the Dr. Phil show. They said, listen, we loved your application. We'd like to see you. So I said, well, you want me to come to L.A.? They said, actually, do you know where the Mirage is? Well, they set it up for me to go meet them. And I met, met, met their producers over there. And they videotaped me. And the next day, they called me and said, we absolutely love your audition tape. And so bottom line is, I, I've been working on getting on the Dr. Phil show for his new weight loss challenge programs, the Dr. Dr. Phil weight loss challenge. Well, um, bottom line, this past week, because uh, it was supposed to start this past, the, uh, well, it doesn't matter, but this past week, I, uh, I got a call from them saying that, that I, I, I was not going to be part of the show. And I was really kind of disappointed about that. What I realized is that I'd have six weeks to be able to really totally commit on my weight loss, totally commit on my health. And uh, so it was kind of disappointing. I, I didn't realize, I didn't think I would be as disappointed as I was by not getting on the show. How do I put this? I was surprised at how disappointed I was not getting on the show. But I realized that this was a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Anyway... Um, so it's been up and down. So as I was going through the process with the people from Dr. Phil, they're calling me a lot and asking me a bunch of questions. I started reading a lot of Dr. Phil's books. Some of you may be fans, some of you may not be fans. You know what? But the guy writes great books, whether you agree with him or not. I started really digging and grooving on, on the books he was writing. And I was reading The Weight Loss. And the biggest thing going through this process, going through the interview process to be on their show and reading some of the, the books of Dr. Phil, I've come to realize some things that I've where I've had some challenges with my food. Uh, and I, and it's helped me put in perspective where the real problem started for me. So anyway, I just want to let you know that uh, that's why I haven't been consistently blogging and I haven't been on there because one of the other things, they, they, uh, they didn't want me to get in too good a shape for the show. So, But I have to tell you, today's August 18th. I was hitting it harder than the gym. I was in the gym this morning, um, the, uh, the 18th. I was on the treadmill for, for 60 minutes. Uh, uh, I don't know how many calories I burned, but I burned a bunch of calories. Uh, but I weighed in today at 344, which my weight was way back up. So my goal, once again, I'm starting all over. This is day one. Uh, and I'm going to hit this thing all over again, and I'm actually going to use the principles from Dr. Phil's book and uh, put it to the test because, quite frankly, I haven't been able to figure it out on my own. I haven't been able to do it. I haven't been able to break through. So I'm disappointed I didn't get on a Dr. Phil show, but I am greatly appreciative for the opportunity because through the interview process and through the process of me going through the Weight Loss Challenge book that he wrote, The Seven Keys, it opened my mind to some things that I really hadn't looked at pertaining to what's really gotten the way and held me up on this process. So we're back day one. I am going to start blogging on a regular basis, but I wanted to kind of let you know that's what's happening. I mean, my 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 honey Vicky is really supportive of what's going on. Scott Sanchez is on board. I got another gal, Zoe, uh, from from the gym over at the health club where I've been going to do who's, who's going to start helping me with training. Uh, Dr. Kojo Dixon has been a tremendous help in this process and, and taking all my blood and, and Get my medical records together. Kevin Davis, a strong supporter. Stu McLaren. But anyway, I just want to let you know that's where it's at. And uh, I'm going to get this done. So that's all I got to say. If you want to make a comment about this on my blog, go ahead. But uh, I thank you very much. So stay posted for future things. And actually what I'll do is uh, I'll... Uh, 
Uh, I've got some music that I've written about weight loss that I'm going to start posting on the blog here, uh, on my blog here sh soon. So you have a great day. Thank you for supporting me. And by the way, yesterday was August 17th, which was my birthday. And so basically what I'm doing, I'm giving a gift of health to myself uh, for this day. So that's the scoop. Um, so keep an eye out. Keep posted. Keep supporting me. Thank you for supporting me. Uh, and uh, And... I look forward to getting rid of all this weight and getting healthy. So you make it a great day.